Call me Vic Daddy when you back that thing up. Girl, who was you playing with back that thing up? You a big fine woman, won't you back that thing up? Yes, indeed. The champ is here. The champ is here. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Looking up here like I've seen for Bash Street Boys. Anyway, yo, YouTube, YouTube. Trade back again to hit you all with another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely stupendous. Big shout out to all the channel members, all subscribers, other Trey King Show family. And much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, we have a story about Dietrich had and his wife, yes. And I don't know what all the fuss is for, but guess what? We're going to speak on it because the channel members and the subscribers want to hear about it. But anyway, before I start this story, I want to send a special thank you out to my channel members and also to my subscribers for sending me the story. And also, keep these stories coming. Now, also, this video really shows you how some people will try to get all up in your business. And a lot of you all may be looking around like, Trey, you dressed in all white today. You looking all nice like you about to go to church. Yes, we about to do a little church right now. Now, as you all may know, Dietrich Haddon turned 50 years old just a few days ago. And also, before I start this video, I want to send a special shout out to Dietrich Haddon and also to his wife. And congratulations on turning 50 years old. What a hell of a milestone. Because I'll tell you one damn thing. When I turned 50 years old, if y'all thought y'all see some twerking right there, <laughs> guess what? I'm going to be all up in the mix. You might see me rock out with my cock out. Anyway, I'm going to be uh, on my best behavior today. Now, a lot of people are very mad at Dietrich Haddon for one little simple thing. is the fact that his wife, yes, his wife of 10 years was twerking on him. What really wasn't nothing much of a twerk. You know what I'm saying? Just a little old baby twerk. Now, I don't see nothing wrong with a little bumping ground. I'm going to tell you this right here. And no, I'm not trying to channel R. Kelly, but I don't see nothing wrong with a little bumping ground. You have to understand one thing. Dietrich Haddon is a full-grown man. His wife is full-grown. And guess what? True enough. Yes, he's a gospel singer. He's a pastor also. But guess what, though? Just like some of you all say when I talk about these pastors, Trey, he's just a man. Now, I'm not up here trying to make no excuse for Dietrich Haddon. But one thing about it, you ain't never heard this saying, it's my party and I cry if I want to. So it's Dietrich, 50 year old birthday party, and he can twerk if he wants to. You get what I'm saying? Now, you must understand one thing. Look, if Dietrich Haddon was in a church setting, I understand. We all should be upset. You get what I'm saying? But at the same time, if we're going to call Dietrich Haddon out, we need to call some of these praise dancing teams out. They be sitting up there showing their damn draws. And also, if y'all praise dancing in church or whatnot, I don't even know when they started thinking. It wasn't even around when I was the child going to church or whatnot. But as within the last 10, 15 years, yes, praise dancing. Some of y'all might be on a praise dancing team your damn self. And that's really for the young girls. It's sad when you got grown women out there trying to praise dance. Now, back to what I was saying. If y'all did offend about Dietrich Haddon wife, Dominique McTire, twerking on him, chances are you all need to turn the station and go watch something else. Because I'll tell you one thing, if we're going to call out this couple right here, we should also call out all the other mess that we see in church. And lo and behold, you would think that some people will like, you know, you know, congratulate them or whatnot. Number one, for being a couple, a married black couple, been married for 10 years, have three children. You would think some people will congratulate that. But no, some people just can't wait to catch you doing a little damn thing wrong. So when I woke up this morning, I get all kinds of emails and every damn thing, even a damn phone call. I'm like, what the hell is going on, Trey? Speak on Dietrich Haddon. You know, they thought I was going to drag Dietrich. No, I'm not going to drag Dietrich. Now, if he was in church or some kind of church setting, yes, true enough, he would be getting drugged. But at the same time, you cannot drag a man with the man that's at his birthday party with his wife. Now, ask yourself this. Would the people would rather see Dietrich Haddon with his wife twerking on him or would they rather see another woman twerking on him? Because at least it was his wife. I don't understand some damn people. And y'all act like some of y'all don't like twerking or whatnot. And true enough, some of y'all are kind of older. Some of your knees may be bad. But guess what, though? <laughs> I guarantee you, for those who know how to twerk and for those who have a man, I'm sure enough that you done back that thing up on your man also. And the word for the day is what? Yes, you heard someone I walked in. Back that ass up. Yes, that's the word for the day. Go listen to that juvenile song and get y'all some little spirit or whatnot. Now, it's a sad shame that a man had to sit out here and come out in the public and explain to the public what it is that they see. And also, you must understand, like I said, it's a birthday party. Who don't dance at a damn birthday party? But Dietrich hadn't had this to say right here. And I'm glad that he responded. He says this. He says the next level of church is to learn how to disagree without disrespect. And that's sad. That's the main thing we have on YouTube. We have a lot of people on YouTube and just like other places or whatnot that always disrespect each other, but never know how to damn disagree. Property. You get what I'm saying? Now, look, you may not like what I do, but that don't mean you have to just bash me and critique every damn thing I do. You get what I'm saying? So we're going to call out this mess right here. Richard really shouldn't even be a damn call out. If we're going to call a man out for uh, 
his wife dancing on him or whatnot. It wasn't like she was really dropping it like it's hot. Also, it was just a little what we call a baby twerk. Because I'm sure some of y'all right now watching can twerk way harder than that. Anyway, Dietrich goes on to say, some approve of me dancing in public with my wife and others don't. And that's okay in the words of the stylistics. People make the world go round. And damn, Dietrich, you really showing your age talking about the stylistics. I haven't heard that since the damn... uh. 90s or whatnot, even though it was out way before the damn 90s. Now, I'm going to tell you all this right here. You know, instead of people celebrating the fact that we have this successful black couple, and also this man just turned 50 years old, you know what I'm saying? He seems to be in good health. His wife seems to be in good health. Why not we talk about that? Why not we concentrate on that instead of concentrating on trying to, you know, talk about him just because he's a pastor? And y'all ain't like pastors, amen. But as soon as I make a video talking about these pastors doing other thing, guess what? You have 30,000 people in the comment section saying, Trey, uh, he's just a man. So if that pastor just a man, guess what? Dietrich Haddon is also a damn man. But if you all that outrage, what was all the outrage at a few years ago when somebody leaked a penis picture of Dietrich Haddon or whatnot? And don't go search for it. And don't ask me where it's at. Now, some of the women was saying, damn, Dietrich Bliss and all kind of other mess. But as soon as y'all see his wife twerking on him, guess what? People hit me up, Trey, get him, Trey, like I'm a damn pit bull or something. No. So if you weren't upset when that penis pig got leaked out, you should be upset seeing his wife twerking on him. Because guess what? That's his wife. And guess what? If that was my wife in front of me, I'd be grabbing all on that ass and everything. And I have a confession to make also. You know, I really want to make a confession. That's what we need to start doing on this channel more and more. We need to make confessions. We need to really be real with each other. Ken, I'll be real with you all. I want to say this right here. Yeah. And please don't judge me. Uh, I have no draws on. Anyway, let's continue. But also, Dietrich Haddon has this to say. He says, it would be so dope if we could celebrate our differences instead of demonizing everyone who doesn't think like you. And that's the sad thing about the world. And that's why I always ask you all for your opinions or whatnot. You know, I'm going to give my opinion true enough. That's what I do. This is a Trey King show. Also, I want to know your opinion. So let me ask you all this right now. Do you think Brother Dietrich Haddon was wrong for allowing his wife to drop it like it's hot on him. Because I clearly don't see nothing wrong with what? Yes, a little bump and grind. And some of y'all might go get some booty after this video. All this damn bumping and grinding and twerking. And if you ain't winning, got no booty and you still can get it, guess what? You need to do it. So guess what? While people out here looking at other people's wives and husbands, what is your wife and husband doing also? That's what I want to know. Are you pleasing them? Are you twerking on them? I'm sure you're not. Because if you're so busy watching somebody else and constantly telling people to get that person and talk about that person, where's your love life at? If anything, we should celebrate that. You get what I'm saying? But guess what? At least we see a 50-year-old man able to still move around and he's not on drugs. He's not out here beating on his wife or whatnot. Let's celebrate that part. Anyway, this is what the haters have to say right here. We're going to close on this right here. The hater says this, Sir Dietrich, that video wasn't and isn't part of the Christian liberty. What the hell is the Christian liberty? Kiss about it, please. Anybody tell me what the hell a Christian liberty is. The hater also goes on to say that video was inappropriate. Damn, sound like people in my comment section. That video was inappropriate for a minister like you, and that's not even good enough for a Christian talk, more of a minister. Now, sir, you lost me with the end part. What the hell do this person mean when they say, and that's not even good enough for a Christian talk, more of a minister? Are you hooked on phonics? You need to go get your... uh. Vocabulary in order. I mean, what the hell does that mean? Let me say it one more time for people out there who still bewildered by this. He says, and that's not even good enough for a Christian talk, more of a minister. I don't get that part. But I'm going to tell you this right here. Look here. He have a lot of people that was hating on him and his wife in the comment section of the video or whatnot. And also, he have very few supporters that will support him and his wife. But he is definitely getting more hate than love. But like I'm going to say, I understand that the man is a gospel singer. I understand that he's a pastor. But like you all tell me, he's just a man. So if he's just a man, where is all the drama coming from? And why are people so damn mad? But I get it. Some of these people wish, and I'm going to tell the truth and shame the devil, right? Now, some of these people wish they had somebody to twerk on them. Some people wish they had somebody to twerk on. You get what I'm saying? So instead of people hating on Dietrich and trying to demonize him and his wife, because they are a married couple and have three children, how you think the three children got here? She hasn't been twerking and dropping some on them, because they ain't going to make themselves unless it's uh, the Immaculate Conception or whatnot. And it's only one person who did that, right? Her name was Mary. I think it was. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. And all this hating, when we see people out here just doing normal things, 
Because I thought for sure after I seen all those emails and DMs and whatnot, I thought Dietrich had had jumped on his wife or was caught with another woman. Come to find out, it was just an innocent twerk at a 50th birthday party. You know what I'm saying? How many people told the man happy birthday instead of trying to say you're wrong? People are so quick to demonize you. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this. And next time, I will be sure to put some draws on. But I just want to make my confession because I damn sure forgot or whatnot. And don't worry. Yes, I'm wearing all white. And if I turn around, guess what? The pants still going to be white. Because guess what? I know how to clean my ass. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. If there's anything I may have missed or misinformed, which is not my true intent, please let me know in the comment section. Or you can email me. We can talk about it more. Dare. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. Until next time, you all stay blessed, and I will see y'all soon on the next Trey King show. And also, don't forget to go back that ass up on somebody today, and maybe you will feel better. Anyway, guess what? I'm out.